CSL Primetime is brought to you by Jevova Sports Uniforms and Apparel. Jevova, giving you soccer experience for a lifetime. This is CSL Primetime. Hey folks, I'm Alex Bashevansky, joined here in the studio by CSL analyst Jason DeThomas for our very first show of the season. Jason, welcome. Pleasure to be here. Jason's going to give us a bit of uh, info about his background, former CSL player, uh, retired for a few years now, but he knows the ins and outs of the league. Tell us about your background. I uh, played in the league uh, for about a good 12 years. Um, nothing but positive things to say about the league. Started off uh, with the Astros, to, to be honest, and then moved on to York Region. Played there for pretty much the most part of my career in the league. Uh, retired, well, retired because of an injury and uh, I think partially because of getting married. And that was about in 2012. Championship in 2006 with the uh, York Region Shooters. And uh, you followed the league over the last few years. You've kept close with it. You go to games and check it out. And it's going to be our analyst on the show this year. So welcome. And we can wake out. He's going to be here. Uh, first of all, we're going to take a look at the league standings and where all the teams currently sit in the CSL to get everybody caught up. First place. York Region Shooters undefeated on the season so far. Your old team doing extremely well so far. Followed by Toronto Atomic, Scarborough, Hamilton, Brantford, FC Ukraine, Serbian White Eagles, and Milton SC in the basement currently looking up at all the other teams. And uh, interesting to note actually, the championship team from last year, Toronto Croatia, and the runner-up team, SC Waterloo, not in the league this year, so it's wide open, isn't it? Yeah, it uh, gives the other, te other teams a chance, but uh... I'm not too upset about it because a lot of the good players from those teams would have moved to other teams, increasing the actual uh, playing field, and the competition's been great thus far. So less diluted this year. Yeah, a little yeah, bit stronger from top to bottom, yeah, is that I, what I you're saying? So, yeah. Gotcha. Let's start off uh, our look at the different teams in the CSL with, randomly, Toronto Atomic. Uh, after reaching the playoffs in the inaugural CSL season last year, strong start to this season we saw in the standings, currently sitting second overall. Yeah, it's fantastic for them. The second year in the league, showing everyone that, you know, they're for real, they're going to compete. I think they have one of the top goals um, for in the league and one of the fewest against, so credit to them. Uh, a name that many football fans will recognize on this team and great for leadership and goals and anything, you can basically name it. Uh, Terry Dunfield, former TFC guy, Vancouver Whitecaps, Man City goes on and on and on. Uh, obviously this is a name that people will know, talk about Terry and what he brings to the game. What can I say, he's a former player of the year at TFC. His, uh, his presence in the field alone is going to be tremendous value. Um, his, his leadership role is going to be phenomenal for the young players coming up. He can teach them things that you can't learn just by, by being a skillful player. U20, U23 and senior level boxer. Kunyantov goal through for Dunfield! Terry Dunfield, born in Vancouver, scores on the opening day in MLS for the Whitecaps. They re-establish their advantage after... I think his role will be obviously there to, to produce, but obviously there to you know, foster the, the younger generation to come up. What does it mean to have a guy who's gone over to Europe? He started off in the Man City program uh, when he was a youngster, uh, went up through the system, actually played in the Premier in 2001 for a few games with Man City. Um, he also played in just slightly lower divisions in England as well before coming back to North America. What does it mean to have a guy with that kind of experience to take it and bring it back to the CSL? Well, it's, I think it's something that we're tremendously lacking in Canada, like the professional environment for, uh, for our young players. So if he can bring any part of that back to the league and especially to his team, I think it'll benefit his team, but also it'll benefit Canadian soccer as a whole because he will introduce things to us that we've never seen before. Yeah, former national team member, of course, we should mention as well. Um, number one scorer right now for Toronto Atomic and one of the top scorers in the league is Dario Brezak. Um, one of the five goals in seven games so far. Uh, this guy has been bringing it every game so far. What a shot, too. Yeah, what can I say? He scored a fantastic goal this weekend. It was, it was a one-timer top of the box. Unbelievable, it's, yeah. It's something that you can't really teach. It That's more instinct than anything else. And to have him on your team, if you have to give him a chance, it's pretty much a goal. A top, one of the top snipers in the league. I was talking to someone from one of the other teams this uh, just last week, and they were saying that, in their opinion, they thought Brezak was going to be top scorer by the end of the year. We'll have to stop and see... Uh, I see how that turns out this year, of course, is a long way to go. The league started uh, late May, uh, so we're basically about a third of the way through so far. But uh, Brezak will be a player to keep an eye on. Let's take a look now at the Toronto Atomic team profile page. Uh, as mentioned, their second season in the CSL right now. Uh, last year, they finished fifth in the standings. They actually lost in the playoff quarterfinals. Uh, they play out of 
Centennial Stadium, which is in Toronto. Head coach Ihor Yavorsky and uh, Jason and I were laughing that we're going to have a fun time with some of the names yeah, that sure. we're going to be mentioning over the next little bit. Uh, key players to watch, as we mentioned, Dario Blazak and Terry Dunfield, the former Canadian international. And to find out more about Atomic, you can head to torontoatomic.com. Okay, that's it for this segment. We've got seven teams still to go. So much more to come from CSL Primetime. Stick around, we'll be right back. Welcome back to CSL Primetime. Alex Bashevansky along with CSL analyst Jason DeThomas. As we continue our look at all the teams in the Canadian Soccer League this season, we've got seven to go, so we got to get right to it. Uh, we start off next with Scarborough. SC, uh, an expansion team this year, first year in the CSL, Jason, but they're anything but green, aren't they? Yeah, I looked up and down the roster. Um, they have players from all over. I've played against half of the players, and they're top quality. Yeah, definitely a quality team. Uh, we're going to start off with Addis Sasic, the Bosnian import. Uh, this guy's just a terror to try to contain. Fourth in CSL scoring last year with 16 goals, and right back up uh, near the top again this year. Actually, he did leave... The game with an unreported injury on Saturday, though, he had to be helped off the field, so we're going to have to keep a close eye on that. But Addis Assessage, the guy's just an absolute terror on the pitch. Well, again, last year, I think he was fourth in the league. It's, it's incredible what he can do on the field. And again, for a defender, it's your worst nightmare because as soon as he gets the ball, you give him too much space, he's going to turn. If you're tight on him, he's still going to beat you with speed. So he's phenomenal. One of the few Bosnian guys on the, uh, in the Canadian Soccer League that actually ends up going back home during the off season, but of course is Europe's main season and plays over there back in their home professional league as well. So great to have him in the CSL uh, with his technical ability and such. Uh, so many weapons on this squad. Uh, let's talk about a terror that you played against back in your day. Six foot seven tower power, Mark Jankovic. Um, what can I say about Mark? I played against them both in the CSL and uh, university soccer. He's a UFT alumni. I'm a Western alumni. Every time I get the ball, it's just a monster looking up. I'm looking up at a monster. What's it like to play against a guy who's six foot seven on the soccer pitch? <laughs> Pretty much try to go through his legs, to be <laughs> honest. It's, it's insane. Like, he's a, he's a big player, but he's got good feet. And uh, he brings it to you with actual physical presence, but skillfully he has it as well. So it's, it's, it's very difficult to be a striker, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Imad Hakura, a uh, goalie who was previously with SC Waterloo and won a championship with them. Uh, Jose D'Souza, formerly of the North York Astros, a team you knew very well from back in your day. Uh, D'Souza, unbelievable marksman. And um, player owner Kirill Dimitrov. Uh, I'm not even going to mention his name. I'm not even sure how old Kirill is anymore. I'm just kidding. He's younger than I am still. But Kirill, passionate guy, was a CSL All-Star. And uh, great to see guys, former players, still players actually, who start their own teams in the CSL. Yeah, it's great to see guys get back to the game. Like the passion's obviously there. He wants to build a sport and he's passionate about it. And he's obviously showing it by, uh, by putting his team together. Uh, Scarborough SC profile page for CSL season, home field, Birchmount Stadium. Kirill Dimitrov, head coach and key players, Addis Assessage, Jose D'Souza, Jonathan Jebison. Okay, uh, Hamilton City SC. Interesting story, a little bit sad in its own way. They were in London City, previously in London, and they were called London City. Started in 1973 by the Goss family. And after all those years and tradition, they finally, they made the move out of London. And this is their first year in Hamilton. Yeah, I've known the Goss family personally for years, obviously playing soccer in London uh, with Western. You know, Harry was a fantastic individual and, and his kids. And what they meant to London soccer and how many young soccer yeah. players they brought up to the London system, incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, they have Cove Road there and it was uh, it was like a shrine to soccer. There was always games going on. A lot of, of the local teams played there, always busy, phenomenal atmosphere. Couldn't say enough positive things about it. Absolutely. Um, now, in Hamilton, and it's an exciting time for Steel Town having a professional team in town. We're going to hit on a couple of the key players. Harris Vislogic. A veteran midfielder, a CSL champion back with Brantford in 2010, and then Waterloo in 2013. Harris is the engine that makes this team go. Yeah, what can you say? Again, another pro player adding his quality to the field. It's, it's, I think it's the actual presence that he brings. Again, just like a lot of the other pro players where, you know what, well, if he wants to turn it on, he can take over a game. If not, he can, he can show the way with his younger players. Absolutely. Uh, Drazen Vukovic. Uh, even right now, coming back from a knee injury, this guy could be on one leg, it doesn't matter. Vukovic is absolutely unbelievable, one of the best marksmen in the league. Yeah, I played against him. It's, he's better than some guys on two legs, so you know what, give him credit. Hopefully he can get back into the league and show what he's, uh, what he's all about. A little out of game shape right now, but he's going to get it back, as mentioned. Uh, profile page for Hamilton City. 
Uh, first season in Hamilton, uh, previously in London City, as mentioned, they were founded in 1973. Opened Canada Cup champions in 2003. They played Cardinal Newman and some key players, Harris Veslagic, Dado Adrovic, Zenko Jurcevic. You, uh, you, I got those names out pretty good, didn't I? Not bad, not bad. We're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, Ukraine United, uh, the last team from this segment we're going to go over. Uh, Ukraine United FC. Another expansion team this year, still getting its feet wet, but uh, they haven't been too bad so far. Goal scoring, definitely not a problem. Well, they have the leading goal scorer in the league, so that's obviously a quality to them. Uh, defensively, they could do, do better, to be honest. They have the, the worst goals for against in the league, I 14 believe. goals against so far, which is tied for the worst in the league, yeah. yeah so, you know, having it at both ends, you have to tighten up, and I think uh, with the goal scoring, if it's consistent, they'll uh, definitely move up in the standings. It is great to have the U Ukrainian community um, in Toronto and Ontario, represented by this team. A leading goal scorer, as Jason mentioned, uh, Sergei Ivlyev, uh, leading the way so far with seven goals this year. Uh, but as mentioned, they do need to tighten up a little bit defensively so far. Uh, let's take a look at their profile page. Ukraine United, founded in 2006, actually, but making their CSL, CSL debut this season. Home field St. Joan of Arc up in Vaughan. Uh, Sergei Ivlyev, leading scorer, one of their key players, along with Ole Shutov and head coach Andre. Malichenka of uh, fcukraineunited.com to find out more. And we're out of time for this segment. When we come back, we're going to get to some more teams, uh, more CSL primetime coming up in just a moment. Welcome back to CSL primetime. Alex Bastjavansky here in the studio, joined by CSL analyst, Jason Thomasis, as we do our rundown of all the Canadian Soccer League teams. Uh, and we start off with Milton SC in this segment. Uh, Jason, uh, for Milton, their second year in the CSL. First division, they were in the second division before that. So good to see teams moving up through the divisions and getting into the first division. But uh, serious talent on the squad, even though they currently sit in the CSL basement. Yeah, you know what? Well, I think uh, just take some time to play together. Obviously, they're in a lower division, so the, uh, the quality's there. But the actual physical presence and the speed of the game is a lot, you know, a lot faster in, in the uh, in the first division. So I think, given time, their players will gel and uh, they'll be a force. And they, they, this year, actually, this is their second year in the first division. They've got a lot of players that came from different teams as well, a lot of different nationalities. I know they mentioned to me, so it's interesting. Even though they all get along, there's still that chemistry element as well. A lot of different languages for them to yeah, understand sure, yeah. as well, which is which is typical with the CSL with so many different nationalities uh, in the league. Uh, Adnan Smagic, currently the leading scorer of the team. Uh, Lucky Magori uh, has an absolute cannon of a shot. This guy, absolutely unbelievable goal, score, uh, goal he scored against Toronto Atomic earlier in the year that we're showing there. Um, and Mohamed Mohamed, the big striker. Um, I don't know if you remember Mohamed or not, but uh, it's about six foot three, so difficult to contain on the pitch. I think he came in just a little bit after you played, but unbelievable striker uh, who's extremely tough to cover this team's got some talent no question about it oh no for sure you know what well, again individually I think that they're sound just you know meshing together is gonna be difficult it's not as easy as people think um, but once they do I think uh, I think they'll be fine in the league uh, Leon O'Reilly hmm. team captain and we're both having a little chuckle about this because he's got tons of personalities from St. Lucia actually team captain great defender and uh, definitely one of the most passionate people on the pitch. He's loud, he talks to his teammates. It's a necessary thing though, isn't it? Especially when you're team captain. Oh yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty vocal out there. You know what, he leads by example and then he's a captain. That's what he should be doing. And if you're uh, ever lost going to a game, just listen for his voice and uh, I'm sure you'll find it. Listen to Leon. Uh, uh, Milton has done a great job uh, with involving uh, youth soccer players uh, in the Milton community, you see the player walkouts and stuff, and they've got players in the stands, and it's, you know, that is what uh, the CSL is all about and wants to be all about, is getting that community involvement. It's great to see, isn't it? Well, it's fantastic. I think that's one thing that we're lacking in Canada, is just having a youth system build up, and you know what? Milton's trying to do it, all the credit to them, and I think that's what we need to develop the sport as a whole, and it's fantastic to see. It's a smaller community, obviously, mm -hmm. but th they're putting in the efforts. And something for these players to look up to, the younger players as well, to see the professional players and something to emulate, right? So, oh, yeah, 100%. Good for them. Uh, Milton SC profile. Uh, second season in the CSL First Division, as mentioned before, they worked their way up from the second division. Finished seventh overall in the 2015 standings, lost in the playoff quarterfinals. Home field is Jean Vanier Stadium. Head coach is Amir Oman. Osmanlik, there we go. I knew I was going to skip over yeah, one of them. Come. That had to happen sooner or later. Adnan Smagic, Lucky McGorry, Leon O'Reilly, some key players, and Milton SC 
www.brandfordgalaxy.ca, the website. Uh, the Brantford Galaxy, uh, we move on to now. What a story Brantford has been since their inaugural season in 2010. A season you remember all too well when it came to playing Brantford with York Region, right? Yeah, we uh, their first year of the league, we got uh, we got beaten pretty badly, five two at their home field. We had no idea what to expect, and they uh, they handed it to us. They had some fantastic players that for that first year. They had Harris Feslogic, a guy we mentioned who's now uh, playing for Hamilton, Rankle Golian, and yeah. uh, former uh, first division player back in Spain. They had a great team. Uh, marched all the way to the CSL title. Uh, in their very first year, which is one heck of an accomplishment. Remember that first, that, that last game against Hamilton um, at Centennial Stadium, thousands of fans there. Uh, I'd say about a quarter were Brantford fans, three quarters were Hamilton fans. What an incredible atmosphere it made for though. You know what, uh, having that kind of atmosphere to play uh, as a player, it's second to none, like your adrenaline's pumping. It's, uh, it's great to see. Hopefully teams can keep that up even for regular season games, but it's great to see that kind of turnout. I remember Ranko, uh, Golian and saying to me just a couple years ago, he always remembers that final game. Of course, he was on Brantford and they won. But uh, basically, that, that for him and for all the European guys that were on Brantford, uh, it reminded them of back home. Like it did. They said, this is exactly like back home. The passion, the chance, all that stuff. So it truly was great. Um, so uh, Stefan Vukovic, we've got to mention, just turned 23 years old. Former member of the Canadian Under-20 National Squad. CSO Golden Boot winner in 2011. Uh, when he was only 18 years old, this guy's unbelievable. Yeah, you know what, he's uh, 10 years my senior, so I'll date myself here, but I know that he's been a powerhouse since he's been in the league. Uh, 18 years old, what can I say, leading the, the league in scoring, and we've mentioned a bunch of former pros, and he beat them out, so all the credit to him. He was a powerhouse even at Ryerson as a uh, player there. Absolutely. So he's uh, continuing on. Yeah, and uh, we expect good things from Stefan going forward in the future. He's going to have a big this year. He's all, big year. He's already one of the leading scorers in the league so far. Um, Harris Redzepi. Uh, Marco Machado and a couple of vets to go along with a nice mix of younger players. Milan Beater being one of them as well has been very impressive so far. Uh, the Brantford team profile page, let's take a look, founded in 2010. Uh, they were the 2010 playoff champions, unheard of, finished 11th in the standings in 2015. Lions Park's the home field. Head coach Tomo Dancetovic, key players Stefan Vukovic, Harris Rudzapi, and Milan Beater. And uh, yeah. We're out of time for this segment. Two more teams to come as we continue with CSL Primetime in just a moment. Well, welcome back to CSL Primetime. Alex Bastiavansky here in the studio, joined by my CSL analyst, Jason DeThomasis, as we take you through the ins and outs of the 2016 Canadian Soccer League season. We talked now about our last two teams and the Serbian White Eagles, Jason uh, ever since they came back into the league in 2006, this team has been unbelievable, absolutely dominant, some of the most passionate fans. Uh, you remember the 2006 season very, very well for many different reasons. Tell us why. Well, uh, 06 was, uh, our first, was our first championship, and uh, we beat none other than the, uh, the White Eagles. To be honest, uh, we didn't really have any, uh, any right beating them, but we played as a team, and like, they had phenomenal former pros where... They were dancing with the ball, and I was, you know, on the field in awe watching what they're doing. It was incredible. they were they were truly magical, and they they've gone down in history. Even though they didn't win the championship that year, um, a lot of people, including your former coach, um, consider them to be one of the best teams that the CSL truly has ever seen. Um, but that season in 2006 was unbelievable. York Region massive upset pulled it off. But Serbia, great crowds, great passion. It's unfortunate this year actually the Toronto Croatia is not in the league anymore because. Goes without saying, the rivalry between Croatia and Serbia and the CSL has been unbelievable through all these years. But um, yeah, you played them against them in the final. You know them well. Um, tell us a bit about Serbia this year and what you're expecting. Because last year they won uh, the regular season championship. This year, second last right now in the standings. But you definitely expect them to move up. You know what? They have top quality uh, from like their entire lineup. Last year they won the league. This year, if you look at all the scores, it's, it's all close games. Uh, they lost to the shooters, I think, both times, one nothing. So it's, it's the ball's not rolling their way right now. I think that uh, you know some luck will come their way and mm -hmm. they'll move their way up. But right now, it's they're in the basement. Fantastic roster of players. We can go up and down, tell you all about it. But uh, one one guy we will mention, uh, Milo Sapanovic, a former Canadian international youth player. Um, he's been a stud in the CSL for a while now, even though he's still in his early 20s. Uh, just a guy who really knows how to put the ball in the net. Yeah, again, Serbia, they've uh, producing talent, whether it's from the, a youth system or players coming over from overseas. 
These guys have skill that, uh, that again, it's, it's just, it's a natural skill. It's something that you can try to teach players, but it just, it's natural to them. Just a natural technical ability. Uh, let's take a look now at the Serbian White Eagles profile page, founded in 1968. So they, uh, they used to play in the old National Soccer League, which became the Canadian Soccer League, rejoined the CSL in 2006. And ever since that time, they've been absolutely incredible. 2008 CSL playoff champions, Kind of surprising, actually. They've only won one playoff championship since then, but yeah. 2008, they won it. Um, first overall in the 2015 regular season, CSL eliminated in the playoff semifinals, and they play out of Centennial. Head coach Juros Stamatovic and um, key players. I'll go with Milos Sapanovic is the one that I want to pronounce yeah, right now because they're all bad. It's, it's brutal. SerbianWhiteEagles.ca. And uh, we're going to finish it up now with the York Region Shooters, a team, of course, Jason knows all too well. Uh, the Shooters have been, since 1998, uh, one of the dominant franchises in the Canadian Soccer League, champions in 2014. And uh, we could really talk an hour about these guys because you know yeah. them so well. But once again, off to a fantastic start at 6-0. and Yeah, you know what? They're undefeated this year. Um, in 14, when they won the league, that's an undefeated season. Undefeated the whole way. They Dream the table. season, something... Uh, Every, every player, regardless of what league you play in, it's always something to brag about. But most of their core players are still there, yeah. so it's, um, you know, it's easier for them to get going at the beginning of the season. And they have uh, players from other teams that have come over because you know, of, of, the, of the league having less and less. In the, and it's, it's phenomenal talent. Like, it's far better than, than when I was playing. The, the, the one thing I will say about the shooters is that uh, players love playing for the shooters. I mean, it's evident by the fact that they've kept that core together for so many years now. Uh, we'll talk about a couple players real quick. Uh, the brothers uh, Richard, uh, Richard West, Richard Edwards, uh, best friends from back home in Jamaica, and they ended up with the uh, with the York Region Shooters. Um, both phenomenal offensive players, and Richard West uh, was the 2015 CSL Golden Boot winner with 23 goals. Give him an inch, he will take a mile. He's uh, he's as quick as lightning. I've, I've watched tape on him, because I didn't get the, the actual chance of playing with him. I, I wish I would. It would have made my job a lot easier, but yeah. he's quick as anything. Like you said, he has one inch. You think it's impossible. Next thing you know, the ball's in the back of the net. The goalie scored against Hamilton two weeks ago where he just flipped the ball over basically from midfield and just turned on the Jets, sped away. Nobody could catch him. He's faster, he's faster with the ball than he is without. It's amazing how quick this guy is. Uh, Gerard Ladiou, Alberto Harris, uh, defenders on this team. Uh, every year, York Region's a powerhouse, and as we mentioned, 6-0 is the start this year. They're doing it again. Um, so, their team profile page, founded in 1998, 2006 and 14 playoff champs, uh, finished third overall in 2015. Um, head coach, Tony DeThomas, key players, Richard West, Richard Edwards, David Guzman, and York Region Shooters .com. And that's it. We're out of time. We've gone through all the teams. Uh, Thank you for being here for our very first well, show and going me. through this. And just remember, CanadianSoccerLeague.ca for all the up-to-date news stats and standings about the league. Uh, on Twitter, at CSL underscore soccer and Javova Canadian Soccer League on Facebook. Thanks so much for joining us for our first show. We'll see you next week, folks.